All right, folks. Well, coming up next month, the first ever International Film Festival being held in Ghana is on the way. It's called the Black Star International Film Festival. So for all you film lovers, history is being made, and we're going to have the first ever International Film Festival in Ghana. And I'm going to be talking to two of the brilliant organizers behind this uh, whole uh, event. So we get to meet the first guest, the executive director of the whole program, the Black Star International Film Festival. Put your hands together. Show some love for Juliet Asante. <laughs> There, uh huh. Then okay. back. There, yeah, you got it. This you got takes it. You got some it. Brain work. Take a seat. It takes brain work to do that. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the house. Take a quick minute. Call for commercial. We'll be right back. If you reach for that remote, I will bite you. The KSM show will be right back. <laughs> we are back. Dear, welcome. Thank you. It's always great to come on your show. It's always good to have you on my show. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, keep, you, keep, you keep doing it, man. Silver Rain was a, was a big hit. How many awards did you see? Oh, quite, quite. Uh, we got quite a lot of nominations, almost 20. Uh, at the recent Golden, uh, Golden uh, Awards, we got Best Costume, so that's great. But the awesome thing is that we are on Amazon. We are the first Ghanaian film to be on Amazon Prime. <laughs> so that is... <laughs> You do it. <laughs> and we are in US, UK, Germany, Japan, wow. Ireland. It's it's quite awesome. Wow, wow, mm -hmm. wow. Fantastic. Thank Fantastic. you. Thank you. And uh, after Silver Rain, mm -hmm. you didn't rest. You're not thinking of uh Organizing an international film festival right, in Ghana? Right, That's great. So uh, the Black Star International Film Festival is going to be an annual event. Mm. Um, and this year, we are, it's happening between 25th August and 28th of mm. August. Mm. Uh, we're excited. We, we got over 3,300 submissions. Wow. And uh, we narrowed down to about 40, uh, which will be showing over three days and all the things that go with a film festival, parties, panel sessions, some traditional stuff, mm -hmm. KK mm -hmm. party, <laughs> um, drive-in cinema, all the things that go with it. It's going to be quite awesome. And I must say that... Um, you know, the organization is also called Black Star International Film Festival, and mm -hmm. then the event is, also has the same name. Okay. And okay. the organization focuses also on advocating for industry-friendly policies because mm -hmm. we can't organize um, the festival in a vacuum. It, it should be within a framework. We are doing it in Ghana, so it's in our interest mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. work towards mm -hmm. making Ghana, getting Ghana at the point where they can compete. Ghanaian films can also compete. I must say that we're excited that quite a number of Ghanaian films made it through. We didn't lower the standards, mm, and they mm. made it through. And who did excited. the selection? Who, who did the final? So we had a selection committee. Mm -hmm. We had a, a jury. Uh, first of all, we had, because we had so many submissions, so we had volunteers from NAFTI, because NAFTI is a collaborating partner. Mm -hmm. So we had volunteers from NAFTI narrow it down. So if you didn't meet any of the criteria, your film wasn't completed, mm, uh, sound mm. wasn't good, you were cut out, cut out, cut mm, out, till we mm. got to the core of, uh, of 200 films wow. and then so the, you said with about like 3,000 3,300 wow yeah and for a first year for a festival my wow. my festival producer tells me that's a record so I'm, I'm wow. just like excited and wow. um so we cut out all of those uh films that you know for some so of the films were really good we actually have uh, two lists of films first list second list because some of the films are so great but we just can't show them mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. we have only limited space and next mm -hmm. year maybe we'll make it one week or two weeks mm -hmm. i'm learning mm -hmm. my festival producer mm -hmm. is teaching mm -hmm. me a lot so mm -hmm. yeah wow <laughs> mm -hmm. wow wow so you started with 3300 yeah and then you cut it down to what 240 to, to 200 and then to and 40 then 200 to 40. so and if then, you made the 40 then if you, you are... made the 40 you are kingpin wow yeah <laughs> <laughs> And I yeah. see, well, I, I'm looking at the list and I see mm -hmm. there are some that are coming from China. You have mm -hmm. films from um, India, India, Kazakhstan, I think, yeah, wow. Iran, uh, uh, Bulgaria, Nigerian I mean, from films. all over the world, all over Nigeria, the world. Yeah. Ghana, UK. Um, no American film made it through, which, is, which was a little bit of a bummer for me, but because they had over 500 submissions. No American film made no, it? No. Wow. Um, 
Uh, India was the second highest submitter, we, but we got two Indian films in there. Uh, so, you know, the, the selection, the criteria wow. was really stiff. Wow. It was stiff competition. And so, I mean, filmmakers put a lot of work into the, uh, you know, into mm. the process. And, and for me, it's heartbreaking having to send out those letters. Because I have sent mm. out requests mm. myself to a lot of film festivals. Mm. And I understand how it feels like to be accepted and to be rejected. Mm. And mm. I keep telling my festival producer, my team, my entire, I have a great team. I keep telling them, you know, as a filmmaker, I come at this from a different perspective. I understand uh, what this yeah. is about. And so yeah. sending out rejection letters, oh, my Lord. Yes. So I just took myself from that process. I wasn't part of the mm. committees, part mm. of the selection. I'm not sending any letters out. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm not doing the dirty work. And, um, <laughs> So, yes, but uh, the film festival also focuses on the business of film. Mm, uh, so, mm, because mm. also as a filmmaker, I understand that that's understand. a major yes. gap very, in this part very. of the world. Mm -hmm. So, we are focusing mm -hmm. on the business of film. Fantastic, mm. fantastic. And you have a, you're working with the producer too for this? Yeah, so we have an entire team. So, we have a festival producer. Mm. She comes at this with a lot of experience. Mm. I mean, she runs a small festival in Brazil. She worked with uh, Berlinale, which is the second largest mm -hmm. film festival mm -hmm. in the world. It's in mm -hmm. Berlin. Uh, um, she also uh, aggregates uh, material for the African Film Festival, I think, in, mm. in the UK. Uh, so she comes at this with a lot of experience. So she kind of always tells me, but Juliet, she has an <laughs> interesting voice when she does that. It's like a school uh, a teacher is like, but Juliet, you can't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> And she's here with you? And she's here with me. Okay, so introduce her. Uh, so we get to meet the producer. Jacqueline Incia, yes. Who knows what Jacqueline Incia? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got it. You got yeah. it. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Jacqueline, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it's having a pleasure. You see, I was right with that voice. Yeah. You see, that's how she ask her to say, say that. Julia, you can't be doing that. She should repeat it. <laughs> no, no, I'll say that, Julia, you can't be doing that. Good to have you on the show. Pleasure. And um, you've been working with uh, festivals then. You're you not new at this. No, I've been working actually for various fest international film festivals mm -hmm. for the past eight years. Wow, yeah, eight I years. Yeah, I started off and um, I studied in the UK, so I started off my work at the Cambridge African Film Festival and then continued actually working in Ghana. I came to Ghana in 2009 for the first time around and I worked for the Real Life Documentary Film Festival mm. and the Envi Environmental Film Festival of Accra and then I went off to Brazil to Germany and now I'm back home and wow. I'm here to stay. How did you get involved with the Black Star International, International Film, Film Festival? Festival? Well, uh, Julia went to Berlin to the Berlinale F Film Festival in February and she met some of my former colleagues mm. and they know that I knew that I relocated back to Ghana. So when they met her, oh, they were like, they oh told my God, you yeah. have to meet this girl. Yeah. She's Ghanaian, <laughs> grew up here. Yeah, she works energy. in the film industry. Mm -hmm. She yeah. connect. And I was really excited because wow. I just come back to Ghana after working in the UK for a few months. Mm. And um, I was looking, so it was just the perfect match. And wow. I think we worked And you have a film together. background as well? Well, I mean, I studied um, anthropology, like visual anthropology. So I have a bit of film experience, like, okay, I think, okay, that way. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. And so, uh, what are we to expect for the Black Star International Film Festival, the first international film festival in Ghana? Yeah, we definitely oh. have a great selection of films worldwide, and actually a beautiful selection from Ghana and, like, from the sub-region as well. Great dramas, documentaries, short films, animation. Mm. And I must say that quite a number of female filmmakers from the continent, so I'm very happy really? and proud to, yeah, yeah. to, to see that. So mm. this is really mm. something that is up and coming, like a lot of female directors mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are coming up, so it's good. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. just to add to that, um, I always describe it as a film party. A film party? A film party. <laughs> so it's a uh, uh, binge on films, you know. Mm, so if mm, it's uh, mm. four days, three days, uh, the last day we are focusing that on a, a cultural experience. But you watch films till you drop. And these, so this are 40, films, these are 40 films, though? Yes. Yeah. And these are films which you wouldn't ordinarily get to see in the cinema. Mm, and um, mm. uh, Jackie, you, mentioned, you asked about film background. I think that's why we make such a great team. I come at this as a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. She comes at this from a more objective, mm. uh, structural, mm, you know, mm. um, uh, 
point of view. And then we have uh, the entire team. We have an events team. Uh, we are working with Infinity. Uh, they've been great. They've come into the process, and they're, they're really, they also assimilated very well. And we have uh, team members from, you know, from the organization itself. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so you ask, what should people expect? Um, you should expect uh, great films. Um, some of them you've heard about. Nakum, for instance, which is the Ghanaian, one of the Ghanaian pigs, um, was at Bellinale. Uh, hmm. it, they, I think they even won the Viewer's Choice Award for, for the Durban Film Festival. Wow. They were featured in the New York Times. Oh, wow. um, and, and we haven't heard about them. And I read I on, heard about Yeah, that. I read really? on social media. When, we, the when, when they were selected, they just wrote, uh, finally, we are coming home. And it, it's about the film. It's about the North. The film is based in the North, wow. about a, a teacher wow. who migrates from Kumasi, um, who goes to school at Tech and then has to go back to the North uh, for his family mm. and his dad's burial and kind of gets immersed in the... I shouldn't give too much away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come watch the film. But um, you see, that's it right there. So, <laughs> so anyways, uh, you can watch so much of that or film, film, films. There'll be parties. Uh, for me, I mean, when I go to film festivals, that's what I remember. Uh, the parties, the, you know, the conversations. So you have the, the directors, I guess? Uh, yes, the, we have okay. some of the directors coming. Okay. We have, uh, and then we have panel sessions. Mm. Great, mm. great sessions. Um, we are focused on the business of film. So we have sessions on distributing, mm. uh, distribution, film financing, mm. new media, all of those things, so people can come and have really quality conversations, closing, you know, business models between uh, mm -hmm, Kumewu, mm -hmm. Nollywood kind of styles to international models. What does it take to get your film on Amazon, for mm -hmm. instance? We spoke mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. Silver Rain in the beginning. So um, we have a, a distributor coming from LA who's who's great with uh, distribution mm -hmm. in, in the States. We have one coming from Africa based in France, uh, DIFA. Um, we have a distributor coming from Europe, so it's it's going to be quite uh, rich. Mm, yeah. Mm. And this is uh, the dates. The dates for this, so we keep them in our calendar. The twenty fifth to the twenty eighth of August. Okay. Of this year. Twenty fifth to the twenty eighth. Twenty fifth yeah. to twenty eighth, and okay. we are saying that corporates uh, people should just come on board. We have a corporate package, mm. and we think this is great for film uh, for team building. Mm. So we are saying that if you're a corporate, uh, we have great discounts for corporate buy tickets, discounted tickets. Is there a number? Is there a number they can call? Uh, yes, anyone? there's a yeah. number they can yeah. call. Uh, we would write it at the bottom of the screen, and, okay. and uh, they can call that number. Corporates should just call and, and get their people to come. 10, 15 of your workers to have a great time from uh, from Thursday, which is 25th, to Sunday, um, which is uh, 28th, if they want to go on the trip. Mm. Um, we are asking people, film lovers, to come. Uh, people who just want to have a good time. Even if you're not a film lover, um, we are focusing on building the culture of film going. You know, there used to be a time when people used to go to the cinema, yeah. you know. So that whole thing of even doing a drive-in cinema, all of those things. So why are you doing that drive-in cinema? Uh, we are keeping the location uh, secret for now. <laughs> we are going to release a part. There we go. And really? People will just drive in, pack their cars, sit on the bonnet, sit in the car, and watch, watch the film. When you're tired, you just drive away. Wow. You can go buy your kebab on the side, grab a drink on the side. You know, so. so for all you romantics, yeah. uh -huh. there's an evening for you at yeah. the film festival. You can drive in. Get your Noku and Chin and whatever, yeah, sit on your yeah, bum yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. At that's Jamestown, great. At Jamestown, there will be yeah. Kenke Party. There will be, we'll be showing some films at Brazilian House, you know. Quite cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the number is on the screen right now for corporate setups that want to call, call and uh, uh, send your people out there to enjoy the festival. The number is right there on your screen. And um, I'm wishing all the best, man. This is Thank great. You. This Thank is great. you. And I and just need to say one thing before we get off. Mm. Uh, film is a great juvenator for an economy. Mm -hmm. So for, for us, this festival, even though it's entertainment, you can imagine all the tourists who are coming, the people who potentially yeah. invest or come back to invest, the people who come do co-productions here, uh, the, the, the kind of uh, budgets that they work with in the mi millions, yeah. you know? Yeah. You, you, if if the, the film industry gets reduced, 
rejuvenated, jobs will be created. In Nigeria, for instance, uh, the film industry in Hollywood is the second largest employer after agriculture. So for us, this is our way of contributing uh, towards creating mm -hmm. jobs, bringing mm -hmm. in investment. Mm -hmm. We need to look at it. Uh, the in the that second way. largest after agriculture? After agriculture. They really? contribute over $9 billion to the economy every year in Nigeria. Wow. We have similar markets, even though their population is high. There's mm. no reason why we can't um, uh, kind of... Uh, yeah, adapt to, you know, make that happen yeah. also here in our own way. Fantastic, man. So, show some love. <laughs> and, in, and, and, and watch out for the information in August. They'll show you where all the cinema places are going to be, where the drive through is going to be, where the film parties are going to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure you'll see me all over the place. But uh, you come, bring, come bring me. <laughs> show some love with reverend. <laughs> We are also on social media. Yes, yes, yes. Media. I okay. needed to yes. put that in. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Facebook, Twitter. <laughs> uh, yeah. www.bsiff.org is our uh, website. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the website is on your screen right now. Write it down. Check it out and stick around. We'll be right back. If you're having as much fun as I am, stay tuned. If you're not, you need deliverance. We'll be right back.